Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Kiger once again. This time we're talking about our sense of sight. So we're using our eyes and telling what we see to absorb, observe the world around us. So I'm using that same dog toy. When you do your assignment, you can either use the same object you use for touch or pick a different object in your house to observe. So when we talk about observing with sight, I'm taking a look at my dog toy. There's all kinds of things that I can see with this. First of all, I can see that it's mostly colored red. Colors are a great thing that you can talk about when you're observing sight. This word, Kong Wubba, is written with yellow writing. It also has these swirly patterns all over in greens and blues and yellows. So we could talk about the different colors that we see. Another thing when you're talking about sight, you might want to talk about the shape that things are. He kind of looks like a snowman at the top, okay? Snowman would have another ball on the top, either smaller up here or another one bigger down here. But he has kind of two round ball shapes at the top, and then he's got these rectangular like tails sticking down. So we could say that it's made with two balls, one smaller on the top, bigger on the bottom, and he's got four rectangular tails sticking out of the bottom. So he would look like an octopus if he had four more, but he only has four. Okay, so these are things that I can see with my eyes. As far as size, we could say that it's, it's small compared to some of his other toys, it's small. It's all in what comparison. Later on, you're gonna use some science tools and I could actually measure, and that would be using my sight, but I'll save that for our tool lesson. So what you're gonna do, use the same object you already used or find a different object in your house and you're going to use your sense of sight to tell me what you are seeing. Can't wait to see what you are observing.